get started. Yes. All right. Can you wave to everybody? Hey, happy Thursday. All right, today we are going to do this cool project with the rocks that you guys have collected. Um, it's a photo holder. So we take a rock and we're gonna paint it. And then we put photos on it. That's right, we do. We're gonna just use some um, Chanel stems or pot cleaners and whatever pictures you have. Here's another one, little bitty one. So you can use whatever size rocks you have. Um, we have a, an assortment here. Look, look at all the rocks we have. Do you have, um, do you have more? Um, do I have more what? Pictures. Pictures, yes. So um, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to, uh, I'm gonna go through the supplies and then we're gonna paint our rocks so that we can let them dry while um, we do the other things that we need to do. All right, so you're gonna need, like I said, some pipe cleaners, uh, some paints. Some rocks. Some rocks. What are those? Paint brushes. Paint brushes. Um, some beads. beads. And, and some pictures. And some pictures. Yep, you're gonna need some photos. And, and I just got some little uh, yes. cups for our paint. You're gonna want some water. What is this? Um, this paper? this paper. Oh, Zoe, that's a great question. This paper is so you won't get paint on my desk. Yeah, you really like <laughs> your desk. I do really like my desk. You know, you can always wash it off. That's true. This is washable acrylic paint, so you can always wash it off. All right, so I am using the Black Label Craft Smart paint today. It's the one that you can find on the project. And um, so the, these paints you can use for with kids. Um, I would not use any of the paints that are metallic or glitter paints, but the Black Label Craft Smart is good for kids to use. So we love this paint. Uh, or you can use my other favorite, which is the Creatology paint. So if you have that, that one looks like this. Comes in a cool little pouch. Yeah. You um, like that one? Yeah. Whenever you like um, turn it over, it's pink. That's right, it's pink. Why is it pink, Zoe? Because um when you the, when you when mix you, when you mix white and Red, it makes pink. That's right. When you mix white and red, it makes pink. Man, I should let you teach this class. All right. So Jen, um, just real quick, we have a couple questions about the colors, yes. uh, about the paint. So um, Bonnie says she has a, uh, a marker with paint in it. Would that work? Yes, yeah, you can use paint pens. Uh, you can use regular paint. And honestly, like you don't have to paint your rocks. So if you, want to go for a more natural look, you can absolutely just take the rocks that you've collected and use them the way that they are. And I pre-painted a few here because um, I'm going to show you a few things while our rocks dry. So Zoe, what colors? Look here, I've got red, blue, and yellow. And now, that color? And orange, that's true. But I was going to ask you, if I have red, blue, and yellow, which colors can I make? Brown? I can make all the colors, right? Oh, yeah. Right? Because red and blue make purple, blue and yellow make green, yellow, yellow and red, red makes... Orange? That's right. And blue and red makes purple. That's right. Okay, so what color do you want to paint your rocks? You can pick um, multiple colors. Um... I'm gonna do a red rock. This one, this one, this one, that one. <laughs> you wanna do all of them? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna make a rainbow. All right, one. I like that idea. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit of paint uh, and you can use a paper plate, you can use a paint palette if you want. Um, you can use a bowl. A bowl, yeah, you can use a bowl. And then you can clean it out. And, and then you can clean it yeah, out. Yeah, because if you don't do it, it's... It will stay there forever. It will stay there forever. All right. I like using these because we can throw them away, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. Hey, those look what these three look like the primary colors. They are the primary colors. Okay. Except the orange. Yes, that's right. That's a secondary color. Yes. All right. I, I there are your brushes. And purple and green are secondary colors. That's right. 
great. My goodness, I've taught you well. All right. Oh, don't forget paper towels. See, I forgot paper towels. It's okay. All right. Pick your brush, Zoe. All right, so we're gonna paint our rocks first. We want to make sure that they have plenty of time I'm to just dry. Do this one because okay. It's small. And I'm gonna pick this one. So, what color am I gonna paint my rock? Blue. I like that color. Let's do blue. Now, I want to show you guys a little trick before I get started painting. Um. All right, don't bump my brush, okay? Okay. If you will take a little tiny piece of tape, and you can fold it over like this so that it, it's sticky all the way around and you can put it on your rock and then you can tape your rock down to the table. So what that does is when I go to paint it, that rock won't roll around. When you try to paint it, it's going to want to move. Absolutely. Yes. Now you don't have to have tape. This is just a little trick I wanted to show you guys. All right, which side are you painting? This, this side? No. no. Which side? This side. This side. Okay. So I'm going to put your tape here and you're just going to paint one side. Okay. You're going to paint that. And then we'll do. Uh, sorry, Jen. We have a couple of questions about the rock. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what happens? Is there any alternative if there, if someone doesn't have any rocks? Um, yes, there's always alternatives. Um, so the rock that you're using, the purpose of the rock is to weight down your picture, right? So I'm gonna show you again an example. So it's just the rock and I'm tying the pipe cleaner to it so that it weights the picture um, stand like this. I need some water. Here's the water. Here's the water. So what you can do is you could use any other item that would weight, weight the, um, the picture down. So you could take, um, you know, you could have your grown up take some rice and put rice in a little cloth bag or a plastic that. bag um, or something small, like so make a small little container with the rice and then you can decorate that. Or if it's in a cloth bag, that could be your decoration and then you can tie it around that. And so the weight of the bag will hold your picture holder. Um, I'm sure there's other things that you can find. I mean, you could get super creative and anything that's a little bit heavy, you know, uh, and will sit well, you can tie that pipe cleaner around and get your picture to stand up. All right, what do you need though? I need um, the, I need the. You need another brush? No, not another brush, I need a towel. Oh, you need a towel, okay. Go get a towel <gasps> and then you can come back. All right, so I'm gonna keep going here with my rock painting because I wanna make sure they dry. So this one's pretty heavy. So I'm probably not gonna tape this one down. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna do this one yellow. All right. And I am not putting so much paint on there that it, um, has lines. So you want to make sure that you cover it well, but then, you know, you don't have drips because if you leave too much paint on there, then before it can dry, it's going to drip down the sides. And I don't paint the bottom side of my rocks all the time because these uh, rock hold or these picture holders are going to sit, um, you know, like this all the time. So you really don't have to see the underneath side at all. All right, so while we let our rocks dry, I'm going to show you a couple of other things. So the best thing to do with your pictures is if you have regular photos, um, you can cut those to size. Um, you can reuse uh, Christmas cards. So let's say you got a Christmas card from your cousin and it's got all your cousins on there and you're like, man, I want to keep this Christmas card but I want to, um, you know, put it in a cool photo holder. So you can take those and just snip them down to size. Um, or you can find regular photos that, you know, your grown up has laying around the house. Make sure that they're okay with it. Don't go cutting anything that they're not okay with. 
Um, so you can do that right now. That's that's the next step is to make sure you have your pictures ready. All so right. Jen, what would happen if someone doesn't have photos? I'm thinking they could maybe put like some drawing that they made. Any other suggestions? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. If you if you don't have any photos available, then draw your draw a picture. You can do any kind of stuff like that. Or let's say you have <clears throat> you have some sort of little paper keepsake. You could put that in there. You know, maybe you went to um, you know a movie or something. Zoe likes to keep her movie stubs. You could put that in there. Yeah, it's just a anything like that. Anything paper. You can't put anything too terribly heavy, but Again, I like using the the thicker like pictures or cardstock that is printed on cardstock works really well. If your picture is printed on paper, you can actually take cardstock and glue it down with stick glue to the paper or to the cardstock, and it'll make your picture stand up better. Oh man, Zoe's doing like a whole face over here. Maybe I'm gonna paint one more of these since you're so. And then I'll let you have this one, okay? You want that I want one? this one. Sorry. Huh. Oh no. Wait, Mama. Yeah. Is that how is that paint glary here? Oh, I just used a different paint. Oh, I want that. Color. Sorry, that one's not a kid's paint. What? I know. Shocker. Hmm. All right. Do we have any other questions? Maybe you guys can tell us some of the colors or things that you're painting your rocks, or if you're not using rocks, what are some of the things that you guys are using today? I'll get back to you on that as soon as they answer. Um, we did have a couple of other questions. I um, typed the answers, but I'll, I'll say them out loud so everyone else can hear as well. Yeah. Um, so someone asked, if we don't have the specific colors that you're using, is it okay to use other colors? Oh yes, absolutely. You can use any color. These are just the ones I could find at my Michael's store. So um, man, everybody's crafting these days. So paint can be hard to come by. Um, and I totally get that. And the reason I was so happy that they had the primary colors, because I feel like if I can get my hands on the primary colors, I can make anything. Um, so me, I'm almost always going to gravitate toward the primary colors. Um, in fact, when before I could get my hands on those, all I had were metallics, um, which we can't use, you know, for the kids classes, but um, I had those laying around. And I'll tell you, I think the non-metallics dry a lot better uh, for what we're doing here with the rocks. But yeah, you can use whatever you have on hand, which is why I showed you guys the Creatology paint. So if you can't find CraftSmart and you've got Crayola or Creatology paint, you can absolutely use those too. It's just an acrylic paint. So we have a question and then I'll read out the, um, the answers. Yeah. Um, so someone's asking how to make washable kids paint bright and covered. How do you preserve the paint? Oh, oh, oh. So, okay. So for the uh, the parents here, if you yeah. your kids painted something and it's in a washable paint and you want to put it outside, um, what I like to use is there is a multi, I think it's called like a multi-purpose um, Mod Podge, and I don't know if I have any. I have a couple of the Mod Podge, but I think these are all. Yeah, I think the ones that I have, so this is the Mod Podge brand um, for, for those parents that want to preserve. They, there is an all-purpose or a multi-purpose Mod Podge that you can buy that will work um, to seal things that are going to be outside. So that's what I use for the, the ones that Zoe has done um, that, that was done in like a washable paint. Like the Creatology paint and the Crayola paint that is probably going to wash off if you stick it outside. Perfect, that's super helpful. And um, so we have a bunch of responses now. Um, someone's making toy dinos. Another person is making, um, is painting neon green paint as a base and then using different colored spikes. Someone is making, um, blending the colors to make ombre. ombre. Um, someone's drawing a tree on the rock. We have pink, all different colors pink, yellow, um, a Lego piece. So yeah, all sorts of interesting things going on out here. Yeah, I like those. Those are, you guys are so creative. I just painted, painted mine plain colors. 
I did get I did get a little fancy on this one. I painted some dots on this one. That's so pretty. White. All right. I'm gonna pick my pipe cleaners here for in a little bit. Zoe, what color are you gonna want for your rock? What color? Um, I got orange, green, pink, blue, purple, and yellow. Um, pink. Pink? Oh, I could have guessed that. There you go. All right. So while you guys are painting your rocks, um, I'm going to show just a little bit on how to do the, the stem portion. So I want to do this now for those of you who aren't going to paint rocks or who are just using your rock in its natural state like this. So you can do you can do several different things. On this rock, I did one wrap around. And on this rock, I did a crisscross. So you can see I went twice around in different directions. And you know, use your best judgment. It's just whatever works with that rock. Do you like it? I do like it. Um, so Jen, we have, um, before you move on to that step, we yeah. just have a few more questions about the paint. Yeah. So we have four different questions. Um, someone's asking if they have to use kid paint or if they can use any other sort of paint. If you are not a kid, you can use whatever paint you want. Keep in mind, acrylic paint works the best. So washable, not so good. Oil, I would highly discourage it. I would use a crayon. Um, but yeah, the only reason I said the this type, certain type of paint is because this is a kid's class and I want to make sure that, you know, you guys know what options to use. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> for, uh, for your little ones. Perfect. That actually answered two, two of the questions. So another one is, um, can you finger paint it, your rocks? Say that one more time, sorry. Can you paint your rocks with, with fingers? Just oh, use your yeah, fingers. absolutely, yes. Oh my goodness, you just gave Zoe an idea. She's gonna finger uh -oh. paint. <laughs> no, maybe you shouldn't finger paint. All right, are you done with that rock? It looks like, man, your rock may not dry in time. We may have to use my rocks here for, for this. Now, Zoe, I have a, I have a, a, a job for you, okay? Can well, I do my other? I'm gonna, well, you can do your other rock in just a minute. I want you to, to decorate your pipe cleaner, okay? I want you to show them, I'm gonna show you. So let me just, actually, I'm gonna make sure you don't get your fingers in that. I'm gonna put it One right. last question, Jen, about the sticker, I mean, about the rocks. Can we put stickers on the rocks? Oh yes, that's an easy way to decorate your rock without having to wait for very long. All right, so, so for those of you who are not using painted rocks um, and, or might use the natural rock, you're just going to put your pipe cleaner around the rock. So this one's a, a skinny long one. I'm going to go around it twice. And then, so, so I just wrapped around, you can see, one, two, around the rock. And then you've got a short, a short and a long. And you're just going to twist them together. Just twist it until it's tight. That way the pipe cleaner holds on to the rock. Like this. Okay. Oh, but mine is not going to dry. Oh, you're going to, you're going to do something. Yes. I'm going to have you show them how to decorate in just a second. Okay. All right. So now once you have this done, you're going to take your finger and put it over the other end that's sticking out and you're gonna wrap it around your finger two times like this. And the reason you're doing this is it creates the little gap where you're gonna put your picture. So it's really hard to see because <laughs> it's fuzzy, but there are two loops side by side. And then what you can do is stick your picture in. See, so now it's holding it on both sides. So now you have your picture held by your loop. And then when you sit it down, ta-da, it stands up. 
Now, Zoe, do you want to show them how to decorate your Chanel stem? I don't know how to. I'm going to show you. So you take your beads and you pick out the beads that you want. Oh, now I know. Yep. So I'm going to I'm going to wrap your I'm going to wrap your rock. And this I'm going to go I'm going to do you're going to do this one first. Okay, how about that? Okay. Look, purple and pink look really good together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, so if you want to decorate your your pipe cleaner before you put your pictures on, the first thing I would recommend is go ahead and wrap your uh, pipe cleaner around the rock. <laughs> and then once you get done, you're going to take your beads and just feed them down over the top of the pipe cleaner. And you can space them out. Um, you can put them all together. You can make a little solid stem of them. You do it however you want. Make a pattern. I'm making a pattern. Oh, I think that's a good idea. It's Any like other this. questions coming in? Um, yes, we have um, several requests for you to um, repeat the, like how you put the, the Chanel stem around the rock again. Yep, absolutely. Um, and we have a question, I'm guessing this is a parent asking. Um, yep. Is there any way to fix chunky or dry acrylic paint in the bottle or should it just be tossed? Um, so if it is too chunky or dry, the answer is no. But if it's just starting to form clumps, what you can do is you can shake it around really, really good. So think about like when paint cans sit in the store, you know, at the Home Depot or whatever, they they start to get that way and so they put it in that paint shaker for like 10 minutes and that gets those clumps out so naturally it's going to clump over time but if it's not too far gone you can shake it up you can certain paints and it's probably limited to acrylic or water-based paints you can put a teeny tiny bit of water in it and shake it and it will help um you know, get it flowing a little bit more. So if you pour it and you realize that it's really, really thick, you can add a teeny tiny, and I mean just a tiny amount, like I would start with a quarter of a teaspoon and, and go one quarter of a teaspoon at a time as you shake it until it gets to uh, the viscosity that you're looking for. Whoa, you got more beads on there than I think we can handle. Here, why don't we take some of these off and then I can show them how to, because you still have to twist the top. So I'm going to just take those. Okay, so here is an example of a decorative stem here for our picture holder. All right, so again, now here's another trick. You can use your paintbrush, uh, a thick paintbrush or, you know, a thick pen, and you can also wind it around that to get your loops if you want. So I'm going to do that so you can see. And I just, you have to go around twice because you have to create, I'm going to separate them, but you have to create two sides. So in order to get that picture to stay, that's what you're doing is you're creating two sides and it's pinching and holding your picture. Are you going to do one for me? Okay, so it's going to do one. So then you just, you have your two loops, you slide your picture in, voila. Now I have a picture holder that has the beads on it. And the rock is making it stand up. All right, do we have any more questions, uh, Hamina, before I wrap another rock? Uh, no, I think they're just asking over and over again to, to do the wrapping. So okay. here we go, I guess. All right, I'm gonna go back to this one because it's fairly easy to show. I need a paintbrush. You need a paintbrush. Yes. Okay. All right, so again, you're gonna, um, I, I would say leave, depending on how big your rock is, I would leave about an inch and a half of the pipe cleaner sticking out past the bottom. So I've laid my rock about an inch and a half in on the pipe cleaner. And then I'm gonna just wrap it around and then come back to the top like this. So it's got two crosses on the bottom. And then when I pull in the tail like this, um, like this, 
it's going to create two crosses on the top as well. So that little inch and a half that you leave sticking over here, you're just going to bring that in and then twist and make it tight against the rock on the top part like that. Now, if you're using a super tiny rock, like this little guy here that I painted, um, you might have to go around three times. You can, you can always cut your pipe cleaner. I don't like to cut my pipe cleaners, mostly because they mess up my scissors after a while. Um, but you can, you can wrap it a couple of extra times for a small rock. Or if you have a really big rock, so like this one right here, I only went around one time because this rock is fairly large. So if it's closer to like the palm of your hand, size of the palm of your hand, you're only gonna, you're only gonna have enough pipe cleaner really to go around once and tie it off. So use, use your best judgment based on the size of rock that or weight that you're working with. You need some help. Okay, yes. that is what I'm here for, dear. Okay. That's why you don't really know. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to I'm going to go around this. Let, let's see if we can get this rock to stand up on its edge. Wouldn't that be cool? Let's see. It may not work. It's OK to try things. And if they don't work, you just undo them. All right, I'm going to see if this one will stand up on. Oh, check it out. So this one had a flat spot on the bottom. You can see it better from the side. So what I did was I wrapped it so that the rock is standing up and it actually stands on the short side like that. So that's pretty cool. That gives it a neat look from the side. Mama, I want to do this. You wanna do that picture? All right, so remember how I showed you to wrap, you hold this part and you just go wrap it around. Oh, actually, let's use the big part. Wrap it around the big part of the brush like that. And then take it off. And then you slide it off. Yep. How do you put the picture on? Press it together, make sure it's tight and see how there's pieces. Oh, yeah, see like that. There you go. Look at you. It's really hard to see from the top down. I'll show you. But there you go. That's how it looks from the side, but it sits really well. All right, what other questions do we have? Okay, so um, if someone doesn't have uh, any Chanel Sims, is there any alternative to that? Um, uh, the, the short answer is almost always yes. Uh, you could use, there are other things that could be used. Um, I'm trying to think of around the house items. Um, you could take yarn and make a glue and water solution. The, um, so it's like half Elmer's glue, half uh, water, uh, one part water, one part Elmer's, and you make a, a glue solution and you put the, the yarn in it, and then you lay the yarn out and put the position that you want. So you would tie it around the rock, you would lay it out, you'd make your circles, and then you'd have to let it dry. And then if it, when it dries, you would be able to, it would be rigid and you would be able to use it that way. The best thing to use though is going to be something with a wire in it. I would say a bread tie, but a bread tie is going to be so small, like you wouldn't, it wouldn't be long enough to wrap around your rock and, you know, make the loops needed to do your picture holder. So, um, so yeah, that'd probably be the best thing if you didn't have the pipe cleaner. Perfect. Um, we have another question. Gina would like to know if um, she can use crafters paint. If she can use crafters paint? Yeah. Um, I would think so. I mean, again, if it, if it's a water-based paint that is, you know, acrylic or some kind of water-based, it's going to work best. Um, if you're, so if you get into, um, you know, watercolor gauche, uh, finger paint, so, there are some really, really light um, paints that are not very opaque, those aren't going to work as well. So that's why the acrylic paints typically work better is because the it has a higher opacity. So it's going to take less um, coats. It's going to take less coats to cover the rock. There you go. Just knock 
don't stand up right. It's okay. All right, so it looks like one of my rocks here is dry. So the little rock that I taped down. Um, so uh, Jen, real quick, um, someone's asking, um, and this I think this is a perfect moment for that. What is the tape for again? Oh, yeah. So the tape was just because when you're painting round rocks, especially, but but little rocks, you know, like, you know, we're big, strong people. And when you're painting a rock, it's going to want to run away from you. So what I was saying earlier is if you just take a little piece of tape and loop it so that the sticky part is, you know, on the outside, then you can put your rock on the on the tape. And then when you paint it, you can paint it and it's not going to go anywhere. Um, but if you try to paint a little round rock like this and you try to, you know, you're trying to get the sides, it's just going to scooch away from you or flip over, which you don't want. So that was just my little hack so that I could show you guys how, you know, how to paint it without it running away from you. Perfect. Thank you. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys one more time. So you're leaving about an inch and a half. So this is a really tiny rock. So maybe I'll show you the three, the three loops around. So you can go three and then twist it real tight. And the reason why you do it tight is so that that rock doesn't slip out. So see, I can hold it by the, the pipe cleaner and it's not going to go anywhere. And then on your other end, you can use your finger or a thick brush or a, a pen and you're just going to wrap it around a minimum of two times. You want at least two loops on this end. And you just kind of pinch it together. And then you're going to take your photo and just slide it in between the rings. So see there's a ring on both sides. This is such a tiny little rock with such a tiny little photo. These are great. You can decorate your desk. You can decorate a shelf with these. Um, you can put them anywhere. I love them. They're they're fun. They're colorful. You can put them in your room. You can put them in your room. That's right. You can give them as gifts. Uh, they make wonderful gifts as well. All right. What other questions can I answer? Are they? Oh, yeah. Sorry, we had what? someone asking if you could show us how to wrap it um, for like big rocks only with one loop. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna pop this one out and then I'll show you on. Oh man. I didn't mean for that to be so dramatic. Okay, um, so this is a bigger rock. And so for this one, same thing, you're, you're gonna leave the inch and a half sticking out. And then instead of wrapping the pipe cleaner around and coming back, you're just gonna bring the pipe cleaner up to meet this other one. So if you look at it from the sides, you're just bringing them around and you're meeting them on the top side of your rock. And you're just going to twist them together on the top side of your rock like this. So you just have one loop on the bottom and you're twisting like this. So see, well, this one's so heavy, I can't hold it up using the pot cleaner, but you get the idea. And then you make your loop for your picture. Um. That's perfect. I think a bunch of um, people here have big rocks, so yep. yeah, very yeah. helpful. Um, I, it just, yeah, it depends on, on what you find on your nature walk, man. Like sometimes you find really nice ones, but um, we, we live near water and I think people probably pick them up and skip them across the, the water. So our big ones are all gone. I was lucky to find this guy. All right. Yep, and, and my rocks are all, um, well, except for the last one I did, but the, the ones we did at the beginning, they're all dry. Zoe's is not so dry. She put too many coats on hers, I think. <laughs> it might be dry tomorrow, at the way it's looking. <laughs> no, it won't be dry tomorrow. <laughs> but your, your rocks are so dry. Sorry, Jen. Um, we have a couple more questions. Um, can you glue uh, a clothespin to hold a picture? Yeah, yeah, if you, if you, um, let me think. So if you're gonna paint the rock, I would glue the clothespin down before you try to paint the rock because what's gonna happen is, and I'll, I'll see if I can show you this 
here with this rock. So if you paint it and then you were to try to glue it, look, look how the, if I can take my nail and I can scratch this paint. So see how I can make the paint come off the rock if I want to. I mean, it's not just rubbing off or anything. I have to really make it. But what happens is if you paint the rock and then you glue something on top of it, that paint is actually forming a barrier between what you're gluing and the rock. And so it will peel off a lot easier than if you just took a natural rock, take your, make sure it's clean and, and then glue it to the rock and then paint your rock. I think you'll be much better off. Perfect. Um, do you have to wash your rocks before painting them? I, I like to, yes, especially if you're fine, you know, you can buy rocks that are pre-washed or whatever, but if you're out and you pick these up just on your walk, I always like to wash them because rocks, they live in nature, they're dirty, they're dusty, so it just, otherwise you're going to get dirt in your paint and in your paintbrush and it's just going to make a little bit of a mess. Perfect. Um, so Carly is saying that her pictures are too too heavy for, for the rocks. Do you have any advice or suggestions for that? Yeah, so if, you, if you're using large pictures, you're gonna need to use large rocks. And if you um, have, you know, if you have a large enough rock, it's gonna hold a big enough picture. So it's just, you know, it's kind of like we talked about, you, you're, you're, you're going off of what you have. So if you have a small rock, you're wrapping it twice, you're using, a, you know, I'm not putting a giant picture in this little rock here because it's not going to hold it up. So the little picture I've got is like one and a half inches by one and a half inches. And it's on paper, so it's not super heavy. I know some photos are on that, you know, high gloss, really heavy paper, and that's going to weight it down too. So, yep. Good question. Perfect. Uh, uh, we don't seem to have any more questions. We do have one suggestion, though. What about putting glitter on your rocks? Oh yeah, you can absolutely put glitter on your rock. You can do that multiple ways. You can you can paint it first, and then you can do um, like a use a, a glue that dries clear, like the Creatology uh, glitter glue. And actually, I have some right here. I'll show you. I love this thing. I love it because it comes in an amazing container, and it works super super well. I use this for. It says glitter and sequin. I I use it for like everything. It's fantastic. I, used it um, I know that's right. Zoe used it to glue down a hundred. What did you? Eyeballs. Eyeballs. A hundred eyeballs for her one hundred day project. It, oh wow! I had to put it on the the hands and feet. That's too. right. She made a monster that had a hundred eyeballs on it. Isn't that that's right? That's crazy. That's a lot of eyeballs. I wouldn't want to meet a monster that had a hundred eyeballs personally. Yeah. So. Um, I can imagine it. <laughs> so this is the glue. This is a good glue. Um, you can brush this on. So what I was going to say is like, if you want to put glitter on it, paint your rock, let it dry. And then you can brush some of this glue on because it dries clear. And then you can sprinkle your glitter on the rock and let it dry. Perfect. Uh, we have a uh, request. I've seen this a couple of times as well. Could you show us how to do the, the, the curly thing to put the picture in, please? Oh, are you talking about the end that holds the picture? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, yeah, so you can, your, your finger is the easiest because, you know, it's already attached to you. Um, but you can use it around like a thick a brush or a pen of some kind, but you're just gonna wrap it around your finger until it goes around twice. So that's one and then two. So you can see there's two different loops right there. And that's key because you, you have to have those loops and you can press them together so that they stay close together. But you need those loops in order to hold the picture because when you put the picture in, it's going to slide in between those loops like this. So there's a loop on the front and there's a loop on the back. And that is what is creating the pressure that holds your picture. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. I think that's it for questions right now. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Zoe, can you tell everybody thanks?
Man, she's like into her pipe cleaner right here. Thanks. Thank you. We're really glad you could craft with this. And um, we would love if you guys want to share these pictures, we would love to see what you made. Um, so you can have your adult take a picture and you can put it on any social media and tag it, hashtag Michael's classes or hashtag make it with Michael's. And then we'll be able to see the cool stuff that you made today. All right. Thank you so much, Jimena, and we'll see you next time, okay? Okay. Bye, Jen. Bye, Zoe. Right. Thanks, everybody.